All right, so what can we get from all of this with the flights of the S900 and all of the specifications? We can simply get that it's 100% badass. This machine is an incredible piece of engineering. Uh, it has overcome all of the faults that I can see at least with the S800. The S800 had uh, very flexible arms on it, so if you got into a situation where the guidance system had to counteract a gust of wind, or a severe movement on the pilot's part, you could potentially end up with a harmonic of sorts where it would overcompensate the motor because the body is not moving fast enough. So the, the uh, guidance system essentially isn't moving fast enough. And then by the time it does get moving, it kind of whips over and then the motor kind of drops the other way. And you could end up with a harmonic where it actually dips one way and then flips completely over as you'd see in a lot of the DJI flip of death videos. Um, this machine does not have that problem whatsoever. The arms are extremely rigid carbon fiber. Now I did expect some issues and maybe even some mushiness with the flexible propellers because you usually want to go for propellers as stiff as possible on a multi-copter. But the S900's propellers are extremely flexible. But funny enough, I didn't notice any issues with its uh, handling. It was very nimble. In fact, they are uh, very reminiscent of the Phantom II's propellers uh, in their flexibility as well as just their general shape with that kind of um, trailing edge peak that you get on the Phantom II's propellers. Now I wonder if this makes the, the aerodynamics more efficient, if it gives you more lift, or if it also just makes it quieter. I've noticed that this DJI S900 is significantly quieter than my other hexacopter, which is running the WKM guidance system, but I'm using carbon fiber propellers that are more traditional design, and it really sounds like a swarm of very angry bees when it's coming towards you. And the DJI sounds like a mood, muted swarm of angry bees. <laughs> The uh, Z15 gimbal can be set up for either single or uh, two-person operation. Uh, what I mean by that, the spotter I classify as a second or third person, but two operators would be uh, a pilot and someone to operate the gimbal, or just a pilot and he also operates the gimbal. And the way that you can do this is there's a mode for the Z15 gimbal where it's kind of like the H3 3D gimbal for the Phantom 2s and that's where it dampens the panning so you can actually uh, use the heading of your multi-copter to control the pan you'll get a nice smooth pan because it will ease in and ease out on that pan rate uh, to kind of dampen or shock absorb your movement on your multi-copter while it holds your roll and your pitch and you can control the pitch with like a knob on on your controller. Now if you set it up for a two-man operation the second operator would have control over the pan, the tilt, and the roll of the camera and it would stay stable in relationship to the ground not in relationship to the multi-copter so if your multi-copter turns your camera stays pointing in one direction and that's great for a two-man operation. And that second operator can control far more than just that. He can set the gimbal into different modes. He can uh, uh, set the aperture on the camera, set, start the shutter, stop the shutter. There's just a lot more control you get with the second operator. But you can set it up to work just like a Phantom. Um, at any rate, this machine is absolutely unbelievable and well worth the price. If you're familiar with the, of the history of multi-copters, you would look at it and see just how much value this has, even though once you add up the multi-copter itself, the video transmission system, the monitor, the camera, the lens, getting insurance for it, it seems like an ungodly amount of money. But if you've been around since the beginning, uh, you'll see that that is still a lot of value you're getting for your money. However, if you've been flying the amateur smaller multi-copters off of like Amazon or whatever, and I'm not including the Phantom in these, the people that fly the Phantoms know where they, they sit on the scale of multi-copters. Um, uh, you're probably sitting there going, I've got to spend how much on getting into this professionally? Well, it, yes, and it is worth every penny. So. 
My rating for the DJI S900 is 100% badass, bar none, best multi-copter on the market for the money. Uh, this has been the review for the DJI S900 with the A2 guidance system, the Z15 gimbal for the GH4 camera by Panasonic. And my name is Ty Adronis for TestPilotRC.com.